Hi everybody and welcome to module 5 lesson 14 worksheet. If you don't have this worksheet, that's okay. Um, so today we're going to start out with the middle part as usual, but we're going to look back up and look at the division here. So when you're doing division, you can relate it to multiplication by looking at this as the whole. Because when you start out with division, you're dividing the whole into groups. So this 6 is being divided into 3 groups and you want to know how many would be in each group. group. So you have three groups times how many in each group, or three times what will give you the answer of six. So that's just another way to relate multiplication and division. We're going to slide on down here to the number bonds and the fraction um, in the number lines. So today, um, what we're asking you to do is we're drawing a number bond for each fractional unit, then we're partitioning the fractional strip to show the unit fractions of the, um, the unit fractions of the number bond. Then we're going to use the fraction strip to label the fractions on a number line. Um, and we're going to make sure everything gets labeled nice and clearly. So the first one's already done for us. This one we're dividing into thirds. That's our unit fraction. So I'm actually going to write this as a reminder underneath it. So one third. This is our whole, the one. So over here, we're dividing it into one third two-thirds, and three-thirds, because we have three pieces. We divided the whole into three pieces. That's why we have three circles. Down here, they divided our number our number strip and our number line into thirds as well. We started out with zero over three, then we jumped up over to one over three, then two over three, and then three over three. So we're going to continue on with that, and we're going to go over here to halves. So for halves, we're dividing it into halves. So the unit fraction we're dealing with is halves. So when I come over here, I'm going to do my whole, which is going to be a one. Now this denominator tells me how many circles I'm going to make. I'm going to make two. So I'm going to do one half. Oops, I should have made my circle. Sorry. And then I'm, I'm going to make a circle here. So I have one half here. In order to make it a whole, I need another half because we divide it into two circles or two parts of a whole. So when I come down here to make my fraction strip, and my number line match, I'm gonna start out with zero because we know we have zero over two here. Then we're gonna to need to make two, make it work into two pieces. So we're gonna to need to divide this number line and this fraction strip into two pieces. So I'm gonna draw that line right in the middle of both of them. So I have one piece here and another piece here. So that's two pieces. I'm also gonna divide it into two on the number line. So if this is zero over two, this is gonna be a one over two. And we're not done yet because we have to come over here to the one and we have to do make that into a fraction of two over two, which is the same as saying one whole. So we're going to come over here to probably the toughest one for me to do is the sixth. And I did the six a little ahead of time so I could sketch it out with a pencil. But fitting my number bonds is kind of tricky. So I'm going to start out with one. Oh, and when I'm dealing with six, I want to put the fraction over here because I want to remember my unit fraction is six. So my whole is being divided into six parts. So I'm kind of going to go crazy here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So I need six pieces here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to put one sixth in each of those parts because one sixth, six of those would make one whole. Kind of almost looks like an octopus. We're only two tentacles short. So we have six sixths here. So now we're going to need to dump to to um, do it on our number line and our fraction strip. So over here, zero is going to be zero over six because we don't have any parts of it yet. So then we're going to come over here and we're going to divide it into six, six. And you're going to try to do it as equally as possible because I'm doing mine in marker. I did mine ahead of time just to try to make a show that as good, I can do it as equal as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six over six. So I divided my fraction strip and my number line into six pieces. So if this is zero over six, this line will be one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and then last but not least, six over six. Then the next one is going to be fourth. So my unit fraction is one over four. I'm going to do my whole and then this tells me how many pieces I'm dividing into, which is four. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, 
I do four circles because we have four parts. So you have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. So I'm going to need to divide this into fourths. So I'm going to do one here. So that's going to be one, two, three, and that would be four. So I have one, two, three, four parts that I'm going to label. So my um, zero would be zero over four. My next line would be one over four, two over four, three over four. And last but not least, we have four over four. Um, normally I ask you to do this question on your own, but this is one we have to work out and I have to see it. So it says, Cash cuts a piece of one meter rope into five pieces. Draw and label a number line to show the rope from zero to one meters and label all the fractions. So I need to draw and label a number line. I'm gonna draw my number line. And it's gonna start at zero. I like to do my zeros on top so I can see what I'm doing. And then one. He's cutting a meter of rope into five pieces. So I'm dealing with fifths for this one. So this one was going to be divided. I'm gonna do the zero over five because I know what that is. Then I'm gonna do one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So this would be one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, last but not least is five fifths. So I labeled all of the fractions on there too. It doesn't say that I need to draw a number strip or a fraction strip or a tape diagram, whatever you want to call it above it. So we just had to draw and label a number line. So I hope that helps you understand fractions on a number line.